set up a condition where we can have still have uh, the benefits of a cover crop all winter and holding the soil and even building the soil and retaining nutrients and now um, we're going to go ahead and demonstrate a strip till machine that will allow us to do a little cultivation at, and, and followed by planting either transplanter or by a planter direct seeded type planter and have the benefits then of using a cover crop and maintaining an, an area where we have reduced erosion and at the same time incorporate some tillage. Right. And, uh, so what are some of the main benefits about leaving this cover crop here for let's say a crop like uh, popular crops to use this system would be uh, some of your, your uh, cucurbits like pumpkins, squash, works pretty well. You know, you know that's a good point. Research has shown that some crops don't even require any tillage at all. They do very well in a no-till system. Right. And then other crops, they do respond to tillage, and so they would do better with just a little bit of tillage. So we're kind of creating a tillage zone for those crops that do require that little bit of tillage to get that early jump and get good soil warming conditions. But you can notice that we actually have residue here from the previous corn crop. And so we're taking advantage of residues and the cover crop, and we're actually protecting and building the soil. So, so we're trying to incorporate all those things together. And, uh, so getting that, to, so what this strip till machine will do is give us about a six to eight inch zone yep. of uh, land that's been uh, tilled and that way we can get good seed to soil contact and maybe get that, that the strip will warm up a little quicker than it will uh, for that land that has the residue on it. Yeah, right. and, and that's really a real important point about warming up the soil. In fact, if we were to put a thermometer in this right now, we would find the soil temperature uh, if we had a little tilt area, like if we come out after we till and then come out tomorrow at the same time, we would notice a differential. We would notice that increased temperature in the area that we till. And so we can very rapidly increase that soil temperature. And, uh, and that's, the, that's the advantage of getting some of those varieties of vegetables up and out of the ground. And really, it allows vegetable growers, it gives them the confidence then to, to try to use some, utilize some of these cover crop systems. To right. be able to get those vegetables so you could uh, transplant or direct seed behind the, yeah. a strip till row. And, and following this demonstration, well, I'm sure we'll probably have some other demonstrations that will show the different uh, different types of planters that we can follow a strip till uh, type machine. The um, as we as we run the strip till, it is, it is noticeable that we are actually tilling not just the surface and manipulating the cover and the residue, but we're going to go fairly deep with these culture systems, and so we are actually. Um, thoroughly um, maybe reducing some compaction issues that might be here in that strip tilled area. So we are getting a very well mixed vertical tillage too that's going to go down to about six to eight inches, almost plow layer. So. Okay. Now <clears throat> this particular cover we're looking at is a, is actually a, a fairly light cover. So this was rye that was uh, planted uh, last fall, probably a little late in the, in the season. So we didn't get a lot of good spring growth and we also burnt this off early uh, when it was only about uh, well, 12, 15, 18 inches tall, and so a lot of that's already, you can see a lot of this top is burned back. So this would be a very light cover. Uh, you can also use the strip toe in, in uh, residue that's a little bit thicker, uh, but when you get into thicker residues, you know, the manipulation of that soil becomes a little bit more difficult, and you have to really pay attention to fine-tuning that machine to make sure that you're, you, can, you can rip through that existing residue. So this is more of a light cover. Uh, and of course, the, the more you let this cover go, uh, the more cover you would, you would get. So the later in the season that you burned it off. But this makes a really nice cover for something like pumpkins um, because you uh, provide that um, interface between the soil and the actual fruit. So you, you provide a barrier there for some of your soil-borne diseases, fruit rot diseases that we often have trouble with. And because pumpkins uh, are fairly adaptable, adaptable crop, pumpkins are one that you could, you could plant no-till or strip till very successfully. Same thing with squash. A lot of your brassica type crops would do very well with this type of system. That's very so. good. Very good point. And another point being <clears throat> that this is a light cover. Our strip till machine will go through here. Typically, one pass will be sufficient. Whereas, if we get into heavier covers and heavier residues, we might actually run the strip till over the same area more than once, depending on the amount of residue we have to deal with. But the, the idea is to make sure we get good manipulation of soil so we can develop a soil contact to either the transplant or the seed, uh, direct soil uh, to root or to seed contact, and at the same time manipulate that nice tilt zone. And it might take more than one pass as our coverage get heavier. So the um, one thing you'll, you'll notice, it's very important too, that I really like when I run a strip till, and I think most practitioners don't like to um, have an area mowed. They like to have the standing cover. Uh, because that allows then 
the root attachment so less less tangling and that's very important too when you run a strip till machine so i don't recommend mowing prior to strip tilling i like to see the strip tilling done first if you want to do crimping or mowing after that if it's an organic system i would recommend that after the after the strip tilling so sequence of using these equipment is very important and mowing is typically can be detrimental especially if you're laying it out in a heavy swath or window and so then then you have real other issues of using strip tilling so too.